Welcome everyone out tonight to Lake Park Audubon Raiders boys basketball against the Monoman Walden Thunderbirds. Starting for your Monoman Walden, we're going to have number 10, Logan Pasternak. Number 12, Will Baye. Number 25, Logan Keatsler. Number 20, or number 32, Tyler Pasternak. Number 44, Buster Walker. Just a little update here for you guys. If you're just tuning in, we'll have the boys be starting first. And we'll have the girls to follow tonight at 7.30. Girl, boys will be first. All right, starting for your Raiders tonight, we have... Your starters for tonight's game for your Lake Park Audubon Raiders. Number number four, Garrett Clevin. Number 13, Cody Wolfswinkle. Number 15, Ryan Vogie. Number 20. Tyler Savari. And number 45, Henry Jaster. All right, everyone, let's get ready to play some basketball. Thunderbird. All right, there was just a miss buzzer there on the play. We're going to start with the Thunderbirds here. over to Logan. He fixed the shot, goes back over to Logan with the ball, goes back over to Tanner. He goes up for his shot, bounces off the rim, and uh, Robin will rebound it there. And uh, 
Logan Pasternak with the first shot of the game. Logie bringing the ball down for the Raiders here. Cody Clevin here. Clevin goes up for his shot and just a miss there and gets rebounded here by the Raiders. There's a foul called on play on number 10, Logan Patanek. Hank looking for his opening here. He goes up for his shot and gets deflected by the Thunderbirds. John with the ball here. It's over to Tanner. Passing game here on the court. Logan went up for another shot and got rebounded here by Henry. Savari with the ball now. He drives into the net, goes out to Clevin. Clevin goes for a three and bounces off the rim, gets rebounded by the Thunderbirds. John goes up for a shot for the Thunderbirds. And there was a foul called on the. John with his first shot just bounced off the rim there. The ball down for them. Bogey looking for his opening here. Sparry passes into Cody. Clevin back over to Cody here. Goes right into Hank. Back on the line to Bogey. Sparry tries to drive in, but it goes out to Clevin. Some hard defense here played by the Thunderbirds. It's gonna be the Thunderbirds ball here. John taking it down for them. There's a foul on play on number 12 for the Thunderbirds, Will Bailly. Wolfswink will be bringing the ball in for the Raiders. Long pass there to Clevin. Hank tries to drive in. Fall on the play. Raiders ball. Raiders trying to look for the opening here. Vogue tries to drive up for a shot, but it bounced off the backboard there. Ball on number 15 for Lake Park Audubon, Ryan Vogie. His second fall. Substitution here, we have Garrett Cassette going in for Ryan Vogie for your Raiders. Starkey looking for his opening, goes over to Walker. Walker tries to drive in, but it goes over to uh, Spala. And it's a white ball.
Just short of the rim there, and the cassette is going to bring the ball down for the Raiders. Trying to find their clear in here. Savari tries to drive in for his shot, and it goes in. 14-14 on the clock, first half. Raiders ball here. Clement going to be burning it in. Clevin, or Cassette tries to drive in, goes up for his shot, and it goes right in. A great shot there by Cassette. Stark. Bala, Bala goes and tries for a shot, but it gets rebounded here by the Raiders. Wolfswinkle goes up for his shot. He just goes right over the net and right back to the Thunderbirds, but gets taken back by the Raiders. Clevin goes for a three on the play, and it was short of the net, got rebounded, but got right back to the Raiders. And Wolfswinkel made a shot. Great job there by Cody. Way to be where you need to be. All right, well, let's do a quick replay on that last shot by Cody. Clevin goes great for a three on the play, made. and it was short of the net, got rebounded, but got right back to the Raiders. And Wolfswinkel made a I just want to give you another reminder that the games were switched tonight, so it is boys to start out here, and then right after will be the girls. So make sure you tune in to watch them play Manoban Wobin as well. All right, back on the court, we have Thunderbirds with the ball. Starkey looking for his opening here. Long pass there by Tanner, and it just rolled out. Still Thunderbirds ball. Pasternak with the ball. Heisler. Ends right back to Starkey. Starkey goes up for a three, short in the net. Substitution here for the Thunderbirds. We have number 52 going in for 44, and we have number 12 going in for 32. Fall there on the play. Number 52 for the Thunderbirds. All right, Cassette here with the ball, trying to find his clearing. Savari drives into the net, and there was a foul called on the play. Another foul on number 52. And Jeffrey Kula. Savari with his first shot there on the line. Second shot was no good there, but we do have 12 minutes here on the clock yet. Heisler goes up for a three-pointer for the Thunderbird. Rebound for the Thunderbirds. Oh. 
Club and Consent over here. West Winkle tries to drive in, and there was a travel there on the Raiders. Starkey bringing the ball down here. Riley over to Starley. Starley goes up for three or a two. I'm sorry about that. Rebounded here by Jaster. Set tries to drive into the net and loses the ball on his own feet. <laughs> Substitution here. We have Buster Walkley going in for Starkey. Spala goes up for his shot and gets rebounded by Jester. Clevin for the Raiders goes up for three and a beautiful shot, which that is. Ball there on the play, number 13. On Cody Wolfswinkle. Wolfswinkle bringing the ball down here for the Raiders. Set tries to drive him, but goes right back out to Hasvari on the line. He tried for a three and got rebounded here by the Thunderbirds. Heisel goes for his three for the Thunderbirds. Rebound him by Jeffrey Kulak. He goes back out to Will Biley on the line and gets tries for three, got rebounded there by Henry Jaster for the Lake Park Raiders. That long pass there to Wisswinkle. Wisswinkle drives for a layup there and a great shot, which that is. We have 9.50 on the clock in the half. Heisler for the Thunderbirds here at the ball. Heisler goes for a three and made a great shot there. Wolfswinkle only loses the ball at his feet. Wolfswinkle over to Safari, drives into Jaster, back out to Clevin, almost lost the ball there. Right back into Jaster. He tries to go, drives in, doesn't quite get the shot. Heisler's trying to drive here for the Thunderbirds. Heisler, Billy, line there. Ball back out on Biley. Since Bala tried to drive in there. We have some substitutions here on the play. We For the Raiders, we have Logie going in. And there's a timeout here called on the play. Just want to make a little announcement. Tonight at the game, we do have a purple out. The purple out is everything is possible with Faith. Our Raiders are wearing purple to support Faith. Faith it was a 16-year-old who had a liver transpa transplant due to a cancerous liver tumor. She conducted a bacteria that an average person hardly would get sick from, but it made her very sick and put her liver at risk of rejection. A week before Christmas, she came very sick with a fungus that infected her blood, lungs, and her brain. She's been amazingly defying the odds and has still been fighting the fungus. Many call her the red-headed warrior. The girl is always has a smile and a love for her life. She's taught so many about compassion and love. Keep on fighting faith.
All right, we're back here on the court. All right, Thunderbirds with the ball, trying to find their All right, Brian making it for the Thunderbirds, number 44, Buster Walker. Ball on the play, we have number 31. Sorry, number 13 with the foul. Will Swinkle. Buster was on the line, didn't quite make the shot. Ball goes out to Starley. Heisler with the ball, back out to Starkey. Starkey tries to drive in, but goes right back out to number 23, Spala, or 33. Heisler back in to Patanek. Logan tries to drive in for the Thunderbirds here, but there was a travel called on the play. Substitution here for the Raiders. We're gonna Braden Ecker go in. Braden Ecker tried to drive up for the play there, didn't quite make it. Fall here on the play. Logan Patsernick with his fall. We have Braden Ecker on the line. Didn't quite make his first shot. Substitution here for the Thunderbirds. We have Spala going in for Patsernick. Braden with the second shot. Didn't quite make it and got rebounded by Starkey. And Heist, long baseball pass there to Heisler and Heisler didn't quite make the catch. Clevin bringing the ball in here for the Raiders. They're just trying to find their opening. Kasek gets the ball right down to Henry and Henry made a great shot there by the Raiders. Raiders. There is seven in the first half on the clock. A little tumble there in the air, but it ended up in the Raiders' favor. Wisswinkle bringing the ball down. Cassette goes up for a nice shot there. The Raiders are really out here tonight. Logan trying to get to the net here. And there was a foul called on the play. Number 45, Henry Joster with his first foul. And we're gonna have number 30 for the Thunderbirds, John Starkey on the line. Substitution here, we're gonna have number 52, Jeffrey Claw, go in. Starkey still on the line. And a second shot is good. Some great passing here by the Raiders. Just trying to find where they can shoot. Tries to go into Henry again, but he just can't find his opening. Goes out to Clevin on the three, and he was just short of the net and got rebounded by Starkey for the Thunderbirds. Logan tries to drive up for the shot here for the Thunderbirds and was short of the net. And there's a little fight there on the court. Ball ended in the Raiders' favor. Clevin has to drive down for the net. 
And there was a foul there on the play. Foul number 52, Jeffrey Cooklaw with his third foul of the game. Clevin's first shot is good, and we're gonna have some substitutions for the Raider. Bogey's gonna go in for Ecker, and Savari will go in for Wolfswinkle. Clevin's still here on the line. 5.54 first half, and the second shot is good. Star Key trying to find where to shoot the ball from. Star Key brings it in. Got taken there by the Raiders. Raiders have been definitely having some good passing tonight. Cassettes on the three, tries for a shot, got rebounded there by Pasternak. Starkey over to uh, Spala, and he makes it in for the Thunderbirds. Cassette drives it down for the Raiders, making a shot for them. Starkey drives in for the Thunderbirds and just bounced it off the rim there. We have a substitution here for the Thunderbirds. We're gonna have number 12, Will Biley, go in for number 10, Logan Paternick. Treston drives in there for the Thunderbirds. Didn't quite make the shot and got rebounded there by Vogie. Vari to Clevin there. Clevin tried for a three, didn't quite make it. Thunderbirds with the ball. Slapped out of the lines by Starkey there. Substitution here for the Raiders. Oscar Anderson going in. Interesting little pass there. And somehow made it to Cassette and right over to Clement and into the net. Four just casually doing some push-ups there on the court. Spalo up for the shot for the Thunderbirds. Bogey okay, gonna bring the ball in here for the Raiders. Substitution here. We're gonna have Heisler go in for 32 and we're gonna have Walker go in. Ball just flew out of Cassette's hands there. And there's a fall there on the play. Number 35, Oscar Anderson with his first fall of the game. Let's follow up, we're bringing the ball here. Spala tried for a shot but got rebounded there by Walker and Walker made the shot there for the Thunderbirds. 22-20 with 20 on the clock, or 3.20 on the clock at first half. Ball there on the play. Number four, Garrett Clevin with his first ball of the game. Heisler will be on the line. Up with his first shot, just rolled up. 
Oscar got the rebound there. Excellent passing here by the Raiders. They're just trying to find their way to the net. Spalda tried to steal the ball away there from Cassette, and Savari goes up for three. Didn't quite make it and got rebounded there by Walker. Heisler tries to drive in for a layup and got shot there. And it's a tied game. 2.30 on the clock, first half. Oh, substitution here for the Raiders. We're gonna have Henry Jaster go in and Cody Wolfswinkle. Heisler tries for a three for the Thunderbirds, bounced off the rim there, got rebounded there by Clevin. Clevin goes up for his shot, bounced off the rim there, got rebounded by Starkey. Ball was thrown in there, Clevin tried to get him, got bounced down to the floor. Still on the Raiders' favor though. One fifty on the clock. Savari goes up for a three and a good job at that. that is perfectly in. Let's take a look at that replay there. Savari goes up for a three and a good job at that is perfectly in. Definitely was a great shot there by Tyler. And there's gonna be a travel there on the play. On the Raiders substitution here, 32. Otternek going in and we have Kukla going back in. Minute on the clock here. Starkey drives in, makes the shot. 25, 24, 50 seconds. Ball bounce there. Ref's gonna talk here, see what just happened. Kaiser right, so did knock it out of the Safari's hands, but it is ruled in the Thunderbirds' favor here. Stark key to Heisler. Heisler goes in to Jeffrey. Starkey long pass there over to pass Nick. Starley almost driving, went over to Jeffrey, went up for a shot, went to Walker and didn't quite make it, went back to Jeffrey and Jeffrey made the shot there for the Thunderbirds with 10 seconds on the clock. Cody makes a long shot there from the middle and bounced it off the top of the backboard. Just going to give you a little quick sports update here. We are going to have the Terry Tykins tomorrow, at Friday, at 1 o'clock at the Lake Park Audubon High School. Also, make sure you tune in for our upcoming home games. We're going to have boys basketball Tuesday, the 22nd, at 7.30 at the Audubon Elementary. We also have a band concert on Tuesday, the 22nd, at 7.30 at the Lake Park Audubon High School. Girls basketball Thursday, the 24th. Starting at 5, it will be C Team, JV, and Varsity at Lake Park Audubon High School. We'll also have wrestling at 5 on the 24th in Holly. 
We have Boys Basketball Friday the 25th at 7.30 at Audubon Elementary. We also have a wrestling conference on the 25th at 10 in Perm, and we have a choir concert February 4th at 7.30. Also, our Lake Park Audubon Jazz and Pop Group will have a trip to the Minneapolis on the 27th and the 28th. I'll just do you a little update here on your scores. We have Raiders, Garrett with seven, Garrett Cassette with seven, Garrett Clevin with seven, Wuswinkle with four, Savari with five, and Jaster with two. For the Thunderbirds, we have Paternick with two, Heisler with two, Bly with four, Spala with four, Starkey with six, Walker with four, and Kukla with four. Here we have Mira DeGroat, and she will be interviewing our head coach for the girls basketball. They will be playing tonight at 7.30, again with the Monoman Wobben Burns. And let's go to Mira. Taylor, I think we were live and then Taylor just did that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> All right, I am here today with Coach Kirkwood, and I am here today with Coach Kirkwood, and he is the coach of the Lady Raiders here at LPA, and I'm going to ask him a few interview questions. So, Mr. Kirkwood, are there any players to watch in this game? Uh, for this game, usually I get a Kind of a handful of players I always watch. Uh, ones that stick out usually are Edemiah Sek uh, down in the middle. She's a really good uh, rebounder for us. She plays strong. Uh, Maria Schauer. You, I, honestly, I'll, any of my, my starters, Kate Peterson, um, Carly Ecker, Grace Bowers, coming off the bench, Izzy Olsen, and Paris Roy usually give us a little spark plug off the bench. So those would be my, kind, of, kind of the main ones to, to watch for, I suppose. All right. And then the next question is, what words of wisdom do you give your players before the game? Uh, before every game, I preach a couple things. Uh, play hard. Play intense, play with some passion, and, and have a lot of fun. Uh, high school athletics is about having fun, enjoying your time, and so that's one thing I'm, I'm always preaching is go out there, have fun. You make a mistake, it's okay. Love to play another play. Don't don't dread on it. Uh, just go out, have fun, and play hard. If you play hard, usually good things can happen. All right. And one more question, since we have a little bit of time left, is how do you think the season is going so far? Uh, so far, so good. Um, we've got, got, got quite a few wins. Uh, Couple kind of tough losses against some 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 a little better quality teams. I was hoping when we keep a little closer, maybe maybe get a couple of those wins. But so far, good. Um, off to a good start. Actually, I don't even remember off the top of my head what our record is right now. I think we're maybe eight and seven and four or something like that. So um, going going pretty well so far. All right. Well, good luck on your guys' game today. After the second half of the boys' basketball game, back to you guys at the booth. Good. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, Thank you, Kirkwood. Bo Kirkwood. Plus. And good now luck you to tonight at your guys' game yeah. against Monoman Wobbin.
All right, let's welcome back. We're here in the second half with the Raiders versus the Thunderbirds tonight. Stark key here with the ball for the Thunderbirds. All right, sorry there, we had a little technical difficulty, but we are back on it. If you didn't miss anything, Clevin made a three-pointer there, and Starkey made a two for the Thunderbirds. Sorry about that one once again. We're back here at Thunderbirds looking for their opening. Heisler here with a shot for the Thunderbirds, short of a three there. We've already played a little bit game there with the court. Star key back with the ball for the Thunderbirds. Starkey drives in for the Thunderbirds, bounced off the backboard, got rebounded there by Jester. And a false call goes on the play. Number 30 for the Thunderbirds. Savari bringing the ball in. Bogey drives in, but goes back out to Safari on the line. Wolfswinkle out to Clevin. Clevin goes for a three. Got rebounded there by number 12, Biley, for the Thunderbirds. Starkey tries to go in for a shot. Wolfswinkle hits it out of his hand, and there's a foul called on the play. Number 13, Cody Wiswinkle. With his second foul, we're gonna have number 30, John Starkey on the line for the Thunderbirds. Star Early's first shot is good. Starkey back with the second shot. Just bounced off the backboard there and went right to Jaster.
we're just trying to look for their clearing here. Savari goes for a three for the Raiders and a great shot there. We have 14-10 on the clock in the second half. Heisler with the ball for the Thunderbirds. He drives in, but passes it over. And number 23, Spala makes it in. There's a timeout called on the play. Just a reminder to tune in for the girls game later tonight. I'll be following right after the boys. It, there will be a short break for them to warm up, but it should be starting shortly after the boys game ends. Also a reminder, tomorrow we'll have a Terry Tykins tournament here at the Lake Park Audubon High School. So if you want to come by and support your local wrestlers, feel free to do so. <laughs> All right, and we're back on the court. Bogey making a good pass there over to Savari. Bogey tries to drive into that, but goes out to Clevin on the three. Goes up for his shot. Didn't quite make it and tries to get a rebound there by the Raiders. Going in for Clevin, Garrett Cassette. Heisa with the ball here for the Thunderbirds. Starkey trying to look for his clearing, goes out to Heisler on the three. He goes up for a shot right off the rim and goes right to Joster. Bomb bounces out of the lines here. The Thunderbirds favor. We have 13 minutes on the clock. Heisler drives in for the shot for the Thunderbirds and makes it right in, making a tied game. Boogie goes over to Wolfswinkle here, trying to find his clearing. Some strong defense here by the Thunderbird. Almost makes him lose the ball. And rolled right out of its lines. Thunderbird's ball here. 12.35 on the clock, second half. Tied game still. And star cue for the Thunderbirds with the ball. And that goes over to Patunek, and he makes a three. Savari goes up for a three for the Raiders, bounces off the rim there, and gets rebounded by Patunek. Darkey with the ball now. Goes back out to Patronex. He tries to drive in, but goes back out to Starkey. No so miscommunication there almost. Cassette try to get the ball away. Last shot there does not count, but there is a foul on the play on number 15, Ryan Vogie. We have some substitutions here. We're gonna have number 10, Logan, go in. And number 23, Spala, go back in. 
Pachinex goes up for a three, short of the net, and ends up in the Raiders' hands. Eleven thirty on the clock here. Wolfswinkle under the net. Tress goes up for a shot, but ends up in Jeffrey's hands. Heisler tries to drive in for the Thunderbirds. Doesn't quite make it. And it is still the Raiders' ball. Bogey here with the ball for the Raiders. Goes into Jaster. He tries for a shot and rolls right over there, but rebound there by Wolfswinkle. A great shot there. Great job, Cody. Three by Heisler here. Went in, but right back out. And there is a foul on the play. Substituting in, we're going to have number 12, Will, go in, and we're going to have Garrett, Garrett Clevin go back in. Follow with the ball here, tries to go in, didn't quite make it. Rebounded here by Jeffrey. Thunderbirds not quite getting the ball here in their favor. And a fall on number 20, Tyler Safari. Substituting in here, going in for Cody Wolfswinkle is number 23, Trent Bierke. Thunderbirds ball here. Number 23, Spala tries to go up, doesn't quite make it, gets rebounded quite a few times here, and then quite seem to get it in. And a fall on number 23. On number 23, Spala. Sorry, bringing the ball down <laughs> for the Raiders. Justin tries to go up for the shot here, and there was a foul called on the play. Jaster on the line. Up with his shot, didn't quite make it in, but there's a substitute here. We're gonna have Bogey go in for Garrett Cassette. Also going in, number 30, Starkey for the Thunderbirds, and number 44, Walker for the Thunderbirds. Jaster still on the line. A second shot is good. Starkey tries to drive in for the Thunderbirds, goes up for her shot, bounces right out, and gets rebounded by Bjerke. Tie game here with 9.40 on the clock, second half. Savari on the three goes up for a shot. Didn't quite make it in, goes into the Thunderbirds' hands. Strong defense here by Audubon. Number 44. Walker tried to go for a shot, didn't quite make it in. So 
substitution here for the Thunderbirds. Heisler is going to go in for Pasternak. It is the Raiders' ball. Safari is going to take it in for us. And the ball was pushed out of the line. The fall on the play on number 11, Jaden Heisler for the Thunderbirds. Substitution here. Garrett Cassette's going in for the Raiders. Savari tries to drive in but loses the ball there. 8.56 on the clock. Bogey with the ball. Coventry drives in, goes back out to Vogi. Back over to Savari on the three. Got rebounded there by Jaster, and Jaster made it in the shot. Good job there. Let's take a replay there at Jaster. Got rebounded there by Jaster, and Jaster made in the shot. Great job there once again, Henry, and we're back here on the court. Safari's with the ball for the Raiders. Got stolen away there by the Thunderbirds, and Starkey's going to be taking it down. Almost lost it once again back to the Raiders, but Heisler's going to go for a long three there. Making it 38-39 in the Thunderbirds' favor with 7.45 on the clock, second half. Cassette tries to drive in for the Raiders. Didn't quite make it, but rebounded there by Jester, and he didn't quite make it as well. Star Cube passed the ball out of the line. Timeout called on the play. There's 7.30 in the second half, and I just want to give you a little update on some more events once again. Just a reminder, we do have our Terry Tykins tournament tomorrow at 1. And coming up for our home events, we have a boys basketball game Tuesday the 22nd at 7.30 at the Audubon Elementary. We also have a band concert that night at the Lake Park Audubon High School at 7.30. And on Thursday the 24th, we have a girls basketball game. Starting at 5 will be C team followed by JV and varsity at the Lake Park Audubon High School. We'll also have a wrestling tournament on Thursday the 24th at Holly starting at 5. And boys basketball plays Friday the 25th at 7.30 at the Audubon Elementary. And there is a wrestling conference at 10 in Perm on the 25th. <laughs> and a reminder to always tune in after the game because we will have our girls starting right after this. There'll just be a short break for them to warm up. All right, and the teams are back on the court. All right, Vogue bringing the ball in here for the Raiders. Goes out to Savari on the line. He drives into the net, tries to get over to Jasper, but didn't quite get it, and Thunderbirds with the ball. Seven minutes on the clock. Still a close game here. Let's see what they can do. Good block there. Strong 
defense there. What turnover there to uh, number 30, Star King Flanders, who tries to go for a layup, and he did not quite make it, went right back to the Raiders. We have 6.20 on the clock, second half, still one point difference. And there is a foul called on the play. Number 30, Starkey with the foul there. Will Biley went in for Starkey there for the Thunderbirds. Heisler stole the ball away there for the Raiders. He tries to go for a leg. And quite get it. Bogey with the ball now for the Raiders. Savari tries to drive in and did a baseball slide there on the court. Number 23, Spala, and Heisler burning it down. 5.50 on the clock, second half. Heisler tries to get the ball into the net, didn't quite get it, Jaster with the ball now. Good save there by Tyler for the ball going out. Clevin goes up for a shoot, and it is good. Let's check that instant replay on that. Good save there by Tyler for the ball going out. Clevin goes up for a shoot, and it is in that time. Walker got a two-pointer there, so it's 40-41 with 4.45 on the clock. Raiders with the ball here. Went right back to Will Biley for the Thunderbirds. He brings it down over to Heisler. He goes for a long three and makes it in. Going in here for the Raiders. Cody Wolfswinkle goes in for Ryan Vogue. All right, this is the Thunderbirds ball here. 4.30 on the clock. Heisler shoots another three and makes it right in. Clevin goes up for a shot for the Raiders, and bounces it around the rim and didn't quite get it there. Raiders trying to put some defense here. And Tyler Smart gets the ball away, but gets stolen back by the Thunderbirds. Jeffrey goes up for a shot for the Thunderbirds, didn't quite get it, and Jaster gets the ball back. 3.40 on the clock, second half. Raiders just trying to figure out their play here. Savari drives in, didn't get the shot. There is a foul on the play. Foul on number 23, Spala for the Thunderbirds. Wiswinkle bringing the ball in. Savari out to Clevin. Clevin tries to drive and goes right back out to Cassette. Cassette goes in but goes back out Savari. Clevin on the three. Ball bounces out of the net. Heisler goes for a long three here and did not get it in. 
timeout called. All right, we'll do a little quick score update. For the Raiders, we have Cassette with 10, Clevin with nine, Wolfswinkle with eight, Savari with seven, and Jaster with six. For Thunderbirds, we have Logan with two, Heisler with 12, Viley with four, Spalda with six, Starkey with nine, Tanner with three, Walker with six, and Kukla with four. Two fifty-five on the clock. Thunderbirds with the ball here. As the charge goes up, she did not make it in. Number forty-five, Henry Jaster, with the foul. Heisler will be on the line for the Thunderbirds. First shot was not good. Heisler's second shot just bounced off there too. And ball rolls out. Ball in favor here of the Thunderbirds. As Starkey will be bringing it in. Goes out to Spala, he goes up for a shot, didn't quite get it, and Clevin with the rebound. We have 2.30 on the clock, second half. Cassette tries driving, passes out to Clevin, who did not quite get the catch. Fala burning the ball down, along with Heisler here. Heisler tries to make a drive in, goes out to number 23, Fala. Ball here called on. And number 45, Henry Jaster. It is his third fall, and we'll have number three, number 23, Spala, on the line. There's 155 on the clock. Spala's up with his first shot. Not quite in. Substitution here. We have Ryan Vogie going in for the Raiders. Spala with his second shot, bounced off the rim there in, in the favor of the Raiders here. 150 on the clock, set with the ball. Ball lost to the Thunderbirds. Heisler goes down for a shot, goes up for a shot, and not quite in, but rebounded there by Starkey, and he gets the shot, and 1.30 on the clock here. And a timeout called on the play by the Raiders. Just so everyone knows, on the Lake Park Audubon website, we do have a superintendent survey open to the public, and that is on the LPA website. Anyone can fill it out. It is open to the public, a superintendent survey.
All right, back on the court here. We got 120 on the clock. Wilson Gotrez goes up shot, didn't quite get it, and ends in the hands of Walker for the Thunderbirds. Heisler here with the ball, trying to drive in. Think, and pass it over to 23. Spalla and ended in the hands of the Raider. 50 seconds on the clock, second half, set with the ball. Ends over to Bushwinkle and gets knocked out of his hands. A fall called on the play. Fall on number 30, Starkey. And we will have Cody Wuswinkle on the line. Wuswinkle up with his first shot and it is good. Subbing in here. Tyler Sparry went in. Cody with his second shot, and it is good. 40 seconds on the clock. Another fall called on the play. Ball on number 13, Cody Wolfswinkle for the Raiders. We'll have number 23, Spala, on the line. That was Cody's fourth foul. Henry Jaster will be going in for Cody Wolfswinkle. 30 seconds on the clock. Spala is on the line. Up with his first shot and got rebounded here by the Raiders. 25 seconds to see what they can do. Clevin with a three-pointer for the Raiders, didn't quite get it and got rebounded there by the Thunderbirds. 15 seconds on the clock, Heisler with the ball for the Thunderbirds. Five seconds. Right, and now we'll give you a last moment score update for your Lake Park Autumn Raiders. We have Garrett Cassette with 10 points, Clevin with nine, Westwinkle with 10, Savari with seven, and Jaster with six. For the Thunderbirds, we have Logan with two, Heisler with 12, Bly with four, Spala with six, Starkey with 12, Tanner with three, Walker with six, and Cook Claw with four. I want to thank my team tonight, myself, Mackenzie. On computer, I had Justin. On a podcaster, I had Taylor. On the other podcaster, I had Jack. On my live camera, I had Elise. On my stats, I had Mira. Thank you all for helping me tonight. And thank you all for tuning in. And if you wanted to tune in to the girls' game, you just click over there on YouTube or on my athlete. And it just click over to the girls game. It will be starting shortly. They just have to warm up. Thank you all for tuning in. And please go check out the girls game.